Heredity is the transfer of biological characters from one generation to another via genes. Johann Mendel is the pioneer of the modern genetics. Traits such as blood type, eye color, hair color and taste are each thought to be controlled by a single pair of genes. The Austrian monk Gregor Mendel was the first to discover this phenomenon and it is now referred to as the laws of Mendelian inheritance. The genes deciding a single trait may have several forms that is alleles. Genes provide information for building proteins. They don't however directly create proteins. The production of proteins is completed through two processes, transcription and translation. Transcription and translation take the information in the DNA and use it to produce proteins. Transcription uses a strand of DNA as a template to build a molecule called RNA. The RNA molecule is the link between DNA and the production of proteins. During translation, the RNA molecule created in transcription process delivers information from the DNA to the protein building machines. DNA gives RNA, RNA gives protein. DNA and RNA are similar molecules and are both built from smaller molecules called nucleotides. Proteins are made from a sequence of amino acids rather than nucleotides. Transcription and translation are the two processes that convert a sequence of nucleotides from DNA into a sequence of amino acids to build the desired protein. These two processes are essential for life. They are found in all organisms, eukaryotic and prokaryotic. Converting genetic information into proteins has kept life in existence for billions of years. DNA and RNA are very similar molecules. They are both nucleic acids, one of four molecules of life. They are both built on a foundation of nucleotides and they both contain four nitrogenous bases that pair up. A strand of DNA contains a chain of connecting nucleotides. Each nucleotide contains a sugar and a nitrogenous base and a phosphate group. There is a total of four nitrogenous bases in DNA. Adenine A, thymine T, guanine G, and cytosine C. A strand of DNA is always found bonded to another strand of DNA in form of a double helix. Two DNA strands are bonded together by their nitrogenous bases. The bases form what are called base pairs where adenine and thymine bond together and guanine and cytosine bond together. Adenine and thymine are complementary bases and do not bond with the guanine and cytosine. Guanine and cytosine only bond with each other and not with adenine or thymine. There are a couple of key differences between the structure of DNA and RNA molecules. They contain different sugars. DNA has a deoxyribose sugar while RNA has a ribose sugar. While three of their four nitrogenous bases are the same, RNA molecules have a base called uracil U instead of a thymine base. During transcription, uracil replaces the position of thymine and forms complementary pairs with adenine. The mRNA formed in nucleus comes in cytoplasm. It brings in the coded message from DNA. The message contains the codes for amino acids. The code for each amino acid consists of three nucleotides. It is called as a triplet condon. Each mRNA is made up of thousands of triplet condons. As per the message on mRNA, amino acids are supplied by the tRNA. For this purpose, tRNA has anticodon having complementary sequence to the codon on mRNA. This process is called as translation. During this process, the ribosome keeps on moving from one end of mRNA to the other end by the distance of one triplet condon. This is called translocation. Living organisms can produce new individuals like themselves due to genes only and some of those genes are transmitted to the next generation without any changes. Due to this, 
some of the characters of parents are transmitted to their offsprings. A person's cells hold the exact genes that originated from the sperm and the egg of his or her parents at the time of conception. The genes of a cell are formed into long strands of DNA. Most of the genes that control characteristic are in pairs, one gene from mother and one gene from the father. Everybody has 22 pairs of chromosomes called autosomes and two more genes called sex-linked chromosomes. Females have two X chromosomes and males have an X and a Y chromosome. Inherited traits and disorders can be divided into three categories. Unifactorial inheritance, sex-linked inheritance and multi-factor inheritance. Some traits are found to be determined by genes and environmental effects. Height, for example, seems to be controlled by multiple genes. Some are tall genes and some are short genes. A child may inherit all the tall genes from both parents and will end up taller than both parents. Or the child may inherit all the short genes and be the shortest one in the family. More often than not, the child inherits both tall and short genes and ends up about the same height as the rest of the family. Good diet and exercise can help a person with short genes end up attaining an average height. Each time cells divide to form new cells, the vast chemical information must be copied so that the daughter cells have the information required to function. Inevitably, each time the DNA is copied, there are minute changes. Most such changes are caught and repaired immediately. However, if the alteration is not repaired, the change may result in an altered protein. Altered proteins may not function normally. Genetic disorders are conditions that result when malfunctioning proteins adversely affect the organism. Some mutations may be minor, but some may be considerable. Example, a mutation may cause genetic disorders like sickle cell anemia.